What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Outlaw V2, man, coming at you pre-haircut on a fucking Monday, man. My quaff looks all banged up, but we're about to get that settled in about an hour and a half. But that's not what I'm here to talk about, man. First off, if you like my videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, You can follow me here. You can follow me on my Instagram at Outlaw V2.0. You have to put the little period in there. Um, and that's it. So what am I going to talk about today, man? We are going to talk a little bit about what I think about Anadrol. Um, I'm running Roid Bazaar Anadrol. I'm running 50 megs a day, uh, as a pre-workout. Um, I'm also on, um, my normal cycle, my TTM deal, my test, trend, and masteron. Uh, I did that on a on a um basically a, a a blend for the first four weeks, and I had my levels up higher with trend and mass at 300, 300, um, and then now I've dropped. Uh, I'm sorry, now I've run. I'm I'm switched over to uh, Roy Bazaar's Razor 200. So now um, with the current Monday, Wednesday, Friday pinning schedule, I have I'm at 450 test, 225 trend A, and 225 mass P. And since I'm on the razor, the reason I dropped the trend and I dropped the mast a little bit is because I planned on adding Anadrol. And I did at about week four. Uh, yeah, like week four and a half, something like that. And I'm going to run this shit for, well, I'll get to that. Um, so again, I started at week four. So week five, six, and seven, all on Anadrol, um, just on training days, <clears throat> taking it as a, uh, basically a pre-workout, like a half hour before my work, I pop the pill and I'm out. All right. So again, I had never done Anadrol before. Um, I just all heard all the gorillas in the gym talk about it. And, um, I gotta say, uh, j <laughs> just to give you like cliff notes on Anadrol and what I think about it, it makes you really fucking strong and it makes you really fucking mad, like dead ass, like draw, like, I can't even really explain it. I mean, trend makes you basically um, kind of snappy, but Anadrol is like a, like another level of like people around you. Just everything they do just fucking irritates the shit out of you. Um, uh, emails, like bells going off, fucking dogs barking, horns blowing, like everything fucking makes you mad um, on Anadrol, at least for me. I mean... Um, <clears throat> What can I say about strength and size? I mean, dude, my I'm again, I'm 46, but I fucking look okay, player. Um, my fucking abs look good. Um, yeah, my fucking chest is my shoulders are coming in. I've gained, I think, fucking eight pounds in like like three weeks, and I'm leaner than I was when I fucking started. Um, so like I said, everyone, you know, recently again, the hate. The hate never ceases on my page. People continue to think that I'm like a fucking bodybuilder and they want to challenge me to lift offs and all this other fucking bullshit. And it just cracks me up. Um, so, I mean, I'm competing against myself. And like I said, for 46, uh, my fucking OnlyFans is jumping off. Um, you have to just go on my Instagram to try to figure out how to get on there. But um, I have the body that I want. And... Again, people are paying me to see it on OnlyFans, so clearly it's fucking working. Um, shit's nuts, player. Um, but getting back to Anadrol, this shit makes you really fucking strong. Within like three days of taking it, all of my lifts, um, like po you know, like power lifts, like fucking you know, rows and fucking benching, and like oh, uh, I love doing uh, overhead shoulder presses with dumbbells. That shit all went up like at least a minimum of like twenty percent within like three days. I got on the fucking D uh, incline bench, um, and did two twenty five, two hundred twenty five for uh for eight on incline on a fucking barbell, and I was looking at my spotter like I was just as fucking confused as he was because he was bigger than me. Um, but that's what I like. I like power to weight and Anadrol gives you that. Um, it hasn't given me any water retention. Like everyone said, you'll fucking blow up and just get moon face and shit. No, I'm, I'm still lean as fuck. I mean, my, my fucking arms look real fucking good. There's, there's a lot of separation in my arms. The fucking, um, my shoulders look good. Everything's fucking working, man. So all I can say about the fucking, uh, shout out to my boys at Roy Bazaar. 
um, <clears throat> for fucking Anadrol. It's, it's the fucking truth. Um, again, weight gain, you have to control your estrogen. Um, I have to drink a lot of water. My piss was dark, and I know people were like, you know, saying that. Now, the one thing I will say about Anadrol, we'll get back to duration. Um, I don't think you can stay on this shit for a long time. I know it is liver hepatoxic after like, I think like four weeks. So I'm tapering down now. Like I don't need, uh, I think I'm going to train today and do bench. So today's probably gonna be the last day because I counted it out for training days and I don't want to fucking stay on it for that long. And I'm gonna drink an ass load of water. Um, so you have to drink water every day. This shit will, um, it'll make your piss dark if you don't drink enough water and I don't drink enough as it is. Um, <clears throat> what else? A lot of people say it gives you fucking headaches. Um, I can see that. I, I, there was a couple of days where I popped one and I did fucking like right after that I had a headache. Um, but you know, just take some fucking ibuprofen and just press on with your day. Um, but again, I look good. This is cold in the morning. Um, I'm happy. It's, it's the start of week. I think this is the beginning of week eight. I got to look at the freaking calendar cause I'd be losing track. Um, but I think this is the start of week eight. But either way, seven weeks, you know, test trend, Masteron, and now Anadrol for the last four. Um, all Roy Borzar shit. I'm super impressed. Uh, I'm scheduled to have bloods probably at the end of this week. I just got to get on there. PrivateMDLabs.com is where I get all my blood work done if you're in the United States. Um, <clears throat> I'll put the link. Um, I'll put the link in the uh, in the description to the video. <sighs> I think that's all I got, man. Um other than just being fucking mad at the world. Um, yeah, Enadrol makes you crazy aggressive. Um, it's it's wild. I don't have there's I have no dick issues. Um, so it doesn't seem to be affecting me there. My AI program is a little stricter. Now I'm doing half half a, a Rimadex every three days regardless whether my nipples hurt or not because I have no lumps usually when I used to cycle I used to get fucking like mad painful lumps under my nipples now I don't and I'm still super lean um so I'm good to go all right well that's all fucking I got on a Monday man so all the bros out there training man let's get this shit done holla at your boy